we are at Forever 21. It is a continuation of yesterday when we were at Charlotte Roost, but now we're Forever 21. In case you are new and you didn't see yesterday's video, welcome to Vlogmas um, outside of the daytime. So, same thing that I had on yesterday, Target duster um, for the Morona brand and then a Target Massimo very tiny striped long sleeve t-shirt leather leggings from Forever 21 which I happen to be at and then some Lane Bryant flats Burberry scarf and my Teddy Blake um, bag okay so um have two sections of six we're starting with party dresses today so still continuing that holiday theme um and yeah let's cross our fingers for some good luck oh and spoiler alert i bought some stuff at charlotte Russe, which i'll show you at the end of this video i started by showing you that stuff on the floor because that is all of the glitter that came on the dress when i put it on so I'm wearing a combination of 2X and 3X and I will be forever having glitter on my feet at this stage of my life, I feel like. Um, one thing about Forever 21 I found was that even though I ended up with a lot of stuff, this first kind of section of our try on is more of the party dresses and everything else is just kind of stuff, uh, which I just thought would be fun to try on. So this dress is a 2X. I really like this dress, I think, for my clubby girls. You guys are going to like it. What's great about it is really lightweight, really stretchy, great sweetheart neckline, cute little mesh cutouts here on the side. Um, as per usual, in case you're new here, no shapewear ever on the inside of the dressing room, so we are getting the worst case scenario, I put that in air quotes, because not everyone's in a shape where I am, but not everyone's in a shape where I really love the bronzy color of this. Um, I really love how lightweight it is. I feel with a pair of big tights, this is going to be really great. And a little leather jacket, this is such a great little party look. It would be perfect for New Year's Eve. Um, if you are some, this would actually be really beautiful on dark skin because the tone of the copper is more brown than red. I feel like this would pop really beautifully on dark skin. Um, so if you are one of my um, brown babes watching, check this dress out. It's beautiful, beautiful. I love the sparkle. Okay, you guys, so how many sparkly dresses do I need, though? How many? Like, at least 30, right? Like, that's a totally rational number of sequin dresses and sparkly dresses for a woman to have, right? Right? And the sizing and consistencies begin. So I believe this is meant to be a dress. This is not a dress. This is... This is not a dress. <laughs> Oh, no. um, okay, so it's a 2X. I'm wearing a 2X. They didn't have a 3. Um, I had a feeling it was going to be a short one, but I didn't think it'd be quite this short. Um, definitely way out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to be wearing this. But if you are 4 foot 9, this is bonkers. <laughs> but. I mean, like, literally, if I dropped my pen, like, that's it. That's it. I literally would have no more shame. I would literally, like, that's it. It's cute though. Okay, I really like this. Like this, this next dress that I have on is really cute. It's kind of got this like 70s disco babe vibe going on with a good racer back bra. This actually would look really pretty. Um, it's a great length. It's not glittering all over the floor, which I feel like is a really good thing at this point. Isn't that cute, you guys? That's cute. It's just a really kind of classy, simple dress that you can dress up really well. And I believe it's got a racer back. Let's turn around and have a look. Let's see. Yeah, so we have like a racer back detail here. That's really pretty. I feel like this would be a really good dress, um, especially if you're maybe having Christmas with your like boyfriend parents or girlfriend's parents or whatever um it's it's classy and it's pretty but it's festive at the same time so i really like this one i thought this was supposed to be a dress too and um you guys um okay I like this one. This one's really cute. Now, okay, let's be discerning. The fit is not so great. Um, it's 3X, so it fits in the stomach, fits everything. The purse banks would be better. It's a little short um, and a little big up here. But man, this, I will forgive a lot for a party dress that, like, is a party on its own. 
I think this is really fun, you guys. If you want something really unique and you're into that 70s glam vibe, oh, this is your dress. Like, this is your dress. This is too much fun. I don't want to make you guys dizzy, but like, all I want to do is like, shimmy. Like, so this is the last of the party dresses. Mara 2X. Um, everything is so short. It is so short. Um, to a level that I'm not comfortable with. So, while this is cute, it needs leggings, it needs, it's just, mm. The sequins are nice though. It's nice to have like a matte sequin, but, and the color is nice too, but it's too short. It's too short and it's just, it's just not great, I guess is where um, I'm coming from. I guess kind of where I'm ending up. I feel like we had more consistency in fit at Charlotte Russe. Um, and I'm trying not to compare the two when I was just there, but I feel like I had more consistency in size and Charlotte Russe and more, I just feel like the stuff there didn't make me feel um, shapeless and bloated the way this stuff does. It just makes me feel like, where's my waist? Where's, where's, it's just not great. And I feel like what I had at Charlotte Russe was great. So. Well, I had a couple of wins. That's kind of it. Um, so from here on out, you guys, this is the last of like the party looks. I have a couple other pieces I'm gonna try on. So if you want to keep watching the video, um, you know, keep on watching, and I'm gonna try on some laundry and some cool stuff like that. And if you want to go straight to the end to see kind of my final thoughts, I'll put a timestamp down below so you guys can just pop on over to the end. So if you guys want to see laundry, I'll be right back. Okay, so welcome to the loungy regular clothes portion of our train haul. The first, so I have a lot of black on and I don't know if we'll be able to see any of the details, but um, the first thing I have on is this NYC t-shirt that's kind of distressed and I'm going to show you, kind of see how it's kind of distressed down at the bottom. I have them getting me a 1X, this is a zero. Um, I feel like I want to size up on it to get like a little more slouch, but it's really cute. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And I have on these Moto leggings. I'm hoping you guys can see like the texture here. I'm wearing these in a three and I love them. They are thick, they are opaque, and they've got like a rock and roll kind of moto vibe to them. I really like this outfit. So I put my Target t-shirt back on because I have another pair of black pants on and I felt like we couldn't really see the contrast of anything with all black. So hopefully this will help us kind of get a better vibe of what's going on. So I'm trying on the slim fit trouser in a size 20. I am shocked at how much I like these. These are really cute. They've got kind of a vintage vibe to them. The fit is great, a little big in the waist, but that's okay. We can always have that taken in. I really like these. The pocket is great. There's a little slouch to them, but not too much. They don't hug the tummy. They kind of skim it. There's just a lot of good going on here. And I kind of picked these up on a whim. I didn't think I'd like them, but man, I really do. I think these are gonna be great with bodysuits. This is just, really really pretty i am shocked you guys shocked at how nice these are i think these might actually be the best cutest loungy sweatpants i've ever seen in my life they i'm wearing a size 2x they are super soft super stretchy you guys perfect with my christmas sweaters for like cuddling on the couch watching christmas movies like Christmas socks and cocoa. I just, these are so great. I'm literally think, you know what it's like when you're like tired, cause it's really late now you guys. And I'm so like tired and I just want to be cozy. And I feel like the Forever 21 God, Fashion Gods have given me the most cozy pair of sweats ever. But I also feel like I could wear these as joggers like out on the street or something with like heels and that bomber jacket and totally, actually let me put them on and we'll talk about it. See, now I have a bomber jacket on. I pulled them up a little bit more, and let's put shoes on. And all of a sudden, we are one of those cool, hip New York street style girls with our bomber jackets and our cash, our athleisure. But, like, seriously, you could totally wear this out. Like, totally wear this out, especially if this were black. This were black. And you want, know, like, black and white the whole way down. Like, I feel like these pants need to happen. Are you guys with me, or am I just, like, so tired? that all I want is comfy pants and that's why this is happening. You guys need to let me know in the comments down below if I'm being a little cray right now, but... Remember what I just said about these pants? I was wrong. These are better. 
<laughs> oh my god, you guys, they have mooses on them. <laughs> They are so cute and Christmassy and perfect and amazing and thick and warm actually really warm um, I think I think these are going to happen like they're $16. There's no way these are not gonna happen you guys There's no way picture picture with me if you will come on this like fashion daydream journey with me if you will these leggings a white cable knit sweater white thick socks maybe up to the knee so we have just a little bit and a cup of cocoa fireplace love actually done perfect perfect okay guys i'm all done here trying stuff on at home 21 i'm gonna hit the accessories on my way to the cash wrap and then i'll see you guys back in the car Hey guys, so welcome back to the car. It is time to haul everything that I got. Um, I picked up quite a bit of stuff. Um, and I actually, I'm going to start with American Eagle because I actually didn't show going into American Eagle. I had an online return to do um, for a sweater just I bought that was like micro mini. So I just picked up some cute little socks, which was great. And then... Um, I really, okay, people don't talk about American Eagle enough for their knitwear and their sweaters. They actually have some really, really beautiful sweaters and stuff. Most of the best stuff is online, at least from where the stock at my American Eagle is concerned. Um, I wear an XL in their tops. And um, so I have another sweater I'm going to wear later on in Vlogmas because I love it and it's amazing. But I did find this one, which I thought was really cute. And it's just kind of an apresque sweater so it's got a little mountain on it and it says good vibes just slopes away it's really cute i like that a lot so i paid it retailed for 39.99 and there was like 25 percent off but i had an exchange to do so um didn't pay anything for it so or had already prepaid for it basically so that's that um okay so let's start with charlotte ruse because i picked up a couple of things that i trade on and then I hit up the accessory section, which I really like to do. Um, I'm trying really hard to not compare Forever 21 and Charlotte Russe in this video, even though this is kind of combined on the Forever 21 video, because um, they are two separate stores with two separate vibes. That being said, I felt like Charlotte Russe had a lot more to offer from the holiday festive wear side. I felt like the rompers were so cute, so adorable, and... Um, I didn't really expect them and so because there were so many options there plus the sequin dresses and the velvet dresses there was just so much more going on at Charlotte Russe from a holiday perspective I really feel like if we are pitting them against each other that from that perspective um Charlotte Russe completely took the cake so based on that I ended up picking up the gold jumpsuit um the fit on it was just too good to pass up I really just um you know there was something about it that looked really expensive um and it was $40 and I feel like um had I not been at Charlotte Russe and had I just found this say on like Eloquy site and they had priced it at like $125 I probably would have bought it for $125 like I feel like the quality well the quality is not that great I mean honestly the fabric is thin um so it's not warm I feel like if it had been from Eloquy it would have been like lined and like better made than this but that being said from an aesthetic standpoint had I seen this on a higher more expensive site uh, from a different company I probably would have been really excited to pick it up um so shocked that this came from Charlotte Russe really really happy with that the other thing I got is the pink purple sparkly dress you guys it was so stinking cute um I don't have anything like it which is shocking I actually kind of have something similar to the jumpsuit so um but not too similar um enough to buy it but this this look at this you guys like can we just have a minute look how it shines I'm going to Vegas for New Year's and I feel like this is my New Year's look. I feel like with some nude heels, some white bow fur, and like gold accessories, done, like in business. So um, it was buy one, get one for $10. So I believe I paid 50 bucks for both of them, which was incredible. And then in the accessory section, they had two for 10 as they frequently do. Um, and I love rings. So I picked up this little pack of rings. 
just good little rings to wear, you know, every day. Some sparkly, some not, some different sizes. Um, so I thought that was really cute. And then I also picked up these earrings, which um, again were an item that I thought were more expensive or were going like look more expensive than they are. Um, I feel like I bought something similar from Bobble Bar for like the $30 price range. So for five bucks, these are real cute and I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of them. <coughs> Choking. <coughs> The last thing I got at Charlotte Ruth, well, I'm, I'm going to put everything else away. It's totally kitschy and really kind of dumb, but I bought it anyway. And it's this Happy New Year headband. I'm going to Vegas for New Year's, as I said. I mean, how can I not? How can I not? Like, this is just, it's too cute. This Happy New Year, you guys. It's so cute. I had to get it. I think it was like $6 or something. It was not part of the two for ten. Yeah, $7. And that's just... It's adorable. <laughs> okay, my battery's flashing, so I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. Um, Forever 21, didn't get any of the party wear. I just didn't feel like um, there was enough going on to justify the prices. The fit was completely inconsistent. I was really unhappy with it. Um, and from an availability of size, there was not a lot there. So I don't know if Black Friday came and clean everybody cleaned them out or what. But um, I really didn't like very much that I tried on. I was not really excited about it uh, from the party wear perspective. But from the second half, the loungewear kind of side, um, I found things that I really liked. So first item that I got, um, oh, everything's just going to look black and boring, um, were those trousers. The slim fit trousers that were like a little body skimming. Um, I got them in a size 20 and they were $19.90. I feel like I couldn't pass them up. Like being in Phoenix, it doesn't get too cold. So these are great. But if you do live in a colder climate, you'll want to put some like like thermals underneath them to kind of keep your legs warm because the wind will cut right through them. The other item that I got, or the other thing that I got, are the moto jeggings. Okay, you can kind of, or moto leggings, you can kind of see them. I'm trying to shine them in the light. So I really liked these. They're right on my alley. They're thick. They're going to be great with boots. They're going to be great with heels. Um, I got them in a 3X, which is equivalent to a 20, 22.90. Um, that is the most expensive item. The last thing I got, you guys know it, I don't even know, you knew as soon as I put these on that I was gonna get them. The Moose Leggings, I love them. I think they are amazing. I'm definitely going to run home and put them on. It is currently 9.16, so it's getting a little late. I have messages that I need to get to that I didn't realize. Okay, well, I'm finishing the video on my iPhone because I was in the middle of talking and my battery just died. So as I was saying, I was I was really um, stoked about Charlotte Russe. I was actually really surprised at all of the beautiful offerings that they had um, for such an incredible price point. I think if you're a gal on a budget and you want something really cute for the holidays, Charlotte Russe, um, as of right now, is your best bet, uh, especially during this buy one, get one for $10 sale. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed these past two days of Inside the Dressing Rooms. I have another one coming for you guys next week, and I think I'm going to try and squeeze in one more before Christmas just for us last-minute shoppers. Um, and, yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite look was that I tried on today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Mwah. Love you, girls. See you tomorrow. Bye. Part of it all when you and me deck the halls.